Holland and England. In this case, trying to make things safer actually caused the disaster. In 1988, British Rail decided its 50-year-old signal lights needed to be replaced, and they began upgrading their old system. But on December 12th, an engineer noticed that one of the signals leading into Clapham Station was red when it should have been yellow. Amazingly, he had to stop his train and use a trackside phone to call in the problem. What he didn't know was that another train was getting bad signals too and was barreling up behind him at over 50 miles an hour. The second train rounded a blind corner and slammed into the stopped train. The collision tossed wreckage onto the next set of tracks just as another train was coming into the station. The wreckage looks like something out of World War II. This enormous car was thrown onto a hill. This one was literally split open. Here, you can see where one five-ton car is ripped through the roof of another. 33 people were killed in this train wreck, including both the engineers. Additionally, 120 people were injured. There was a year-long investigation that showed that the signal hadn't been working because it had been wired wrong by an electrician. Proof that when you ride on a train, your life depends on those signals you're passing.